And I'll be joined by the head coach of the Demon Deacons, Danny Manning, along with Brian Crawford and John Collins. Danny, if you like, you can make an opening statement and we'll open the floor for questions. Well, first of all, you know, kudos to K-State. I thought they made, um, obviously made more plays than us down the stretch offensively and defensively to uh, have more success than us in this game. Um, I thought we did some things very well offensively, even though we didn't play well offensively in the first half. You know, I thought in the second half we were able to come, come down, execute, knock down some shots, and give ourselves a chance. When we cut it to one, um, we weren't able to get over the hump. Um, you know, for us, it's it's been a um, long, eventful season. You know, our season started in August. We went to the Bahamas on a foreign tour. And, um, you know, these guys have been working ever since. And um, got off to a, a rocky start, so to speak, in our non-conference. But that was by design because we're a young team and we needed to go out and play some stiff competition before we got to ACC play. Um, all those lessons that we went through in non-conference helped us get to this point, um, helped us finish our ACC season strong um, strong enough to, to get an opportunity to be a part of this, but um, still disappointing to uh, you know not come away with the desired outcome that we wanted. Um, but but certainly I'm proud of the effort um, that these young men have displayed time in and time over in practice. Um, they've come in every day with great attitude, great energy, and um, you know we continue to to improve throughout the season. And um, I think that's a testament to the desire and the, and the character of the young men we have in our program. Questions for Brian and John only. Yeah, you're on the right. Um, John and Brian, Justin, how hard did they make it to, for you, John, to get the ball? And it seemed like there were more opportunities in the second half. But, and some of those seemed to open up some, some shots outside for some of your teammates. Uh, yeah, they're definitely making a concerted effort to uh, try to deny me the ball, try to force me to catch the ball um, as far away from the post as possible. Obviously, like you said, we got some touches in the second half, but it was definitely an effort on their end to, uh, you know, deny me the ball. Right here, right front. Hi, Ethan Bahar, Wake Forest, Old Golden Black. Uh, unbelievable season, John. I'm just wondering what everyone else on campus is wondering. Um, do you think you're going to be returning for the 2017-2018 season? Uh, it's not something I'd like to comment on right now. Turn it right on the side. Uh, John or, or Bryant, um, what made them so hard to guard? Um, defensively and did you feel like you started playing better defense in the second half and then they just started making shots or or, or what was the problem on that end of the court Bryant um we had a couple mix mix ups on the defensive end on um, the big big roll and replace and just didn't communicate enough on the defensive end and when we did get stops we let them get another um chance by giving up offensive rebounds and not boxing up Right here on the right. John, your alley-oop there with about five and a half minutes left, made it a two-point game, and then they scored seven in a row after that. Looking back, was, was that where it got away? Um, I think you could say maybe in the later, later half in the game, but I think it was a combination of all our mistakes um, in the game. I think we came close, and then we let them get a lead, and we fought back, and we let them build another lead. Um, so I think it was a kind of a trend. Um, but I don't think that was a whole turning point. I think it was a, the whole whole game winding down. You're in the right again, right behind you. Brian, can you just share what you saw in the play where they called you for the flagrant foul? It looked like you know, replays, maybe you touched the ball, or just kind of how you what you saw in that play. Um, I was on the – I had fell to the ground, and I tried to steal the ball while he was dribbling it. Any further questions for our student athletes? All right, Brian and John, thank you. Congratulations on your season. Questions for Coach Manning? Yep, here on the right, on the side. 
Coach, kind of follow up on that last question. What what did the refs um, say to you on the flagrant foul, and what did you see from your vantage point? Um, basically, they said that he grabbed their player when he when he fell down. So that was kind of the gist of what I was told. Yeah, right behind you on the right. Danny, same question. I kind of asked John those guys. It looked like they did a lot of doubling, kind of bracketing into John to make it tough for him. How did you think the offensive uh, game flowed with getting him the ball and just what it created outside of him? He had 26 points, man. <laughs> That's 26 points. That's pretty good. You know, teams make decisions on what they want to do. And um, early on, they put a lot of bodies in his direction. We didn't help him out much by how we shot the basketball in the first half. Um, but, you know, he's played games all year long where teams make a decision, I'm going to take you away. I'm, I'm, we're not going to let you score the ball, or we're not going to let you score the ball for this period of time. And that's why it's a team sport. I thought he showed good patience in, in continuing to, to post up and have a presence. Um, but, you know, he finishes with 26 and 9. Touched it a lot, 26. Yep, you're hearing it right again. <clears throat> Coach, was there one thing um, that you wish your guys would have done better defensively, whether staying in front of the ball or contested shots? Uh, or? That, that, that's it, stay in front of the ball. You know, they had 42 points in the paint. And um, it wasn't the big guys. It was their guards getting dribble penetration. So staying in front of the basketball is something that, um, you know, we know we, we needed to do. Um, coming into this ball game, and we obviously didn't do a, a good enough job of that. Um, you know, if you watch us play all year, offense has never been our problem. We got one of the most efficient offenses in the country, and we, we've got to become a better rebounding team and a better defensive team in terms of keeping the ball in front of us. Um, I thought at times we did do a good job of keeping the ball in front of us, and um, you know I thought Stokes made some tough shots, tough contested threes late in the shot clock. Um, so you have to give him credit. Um, I thought Wesley did a great job of getting to the free throw line and drawing fouls. Um, but, you know, all in all for us, you know, we, we're a team that we need to get better defensively, um, rebounding the ball, staying in front of the basketball. And, um, you know, hopefully we can continue to be um, as efficient as we are offensively. Um, but, you know, we, we know we got to get better on the other side. Any more questions for Coach Manning? Yeah, right here on the left in the aisle. What did uh, Collins do better in the uh, second half than he did in the first? I thought he was much more active in the second half. Um, you know, DJ uh, Johnson is a very talented basketball player. He works extremely hard. He has a high motor. And um, he's, he's very physical and very strong. And, you know, we wanted John to take advantage of, of finding open spots, using his athletic ability, using his quickness, beating him to the spot. And I thought he did a much better job of that in the second half. And I think we also did a better job of getting him the ball. But we were able to get him the ball a little bit easier because we started making some shots in the second half, and they had to extend out on our perimeter players a little bit more. Any more questions? Danny, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.